Hey, what's going on everybody? We are in our house today. We got Coco here, my best friend, my partner in crime, my wife. <laughs> and today we're making salsa. Now, I'm not saying I make the best salsa. I'm just saying that we don't need any others, really. Uh, but also, we don't have a lot of options. But anyway, today we're making our own salsa. So I'm gonna show you guys how we do it, and then we're gonna go off and make our own garden box so that we can have our own homemade salsa at the end of the summer. Will it work out? I'm not sure. Is the garden box gonna look good? No, but the main thing is that it will probably grow plants and that's really what we're hoping for. So let's make some salsa. All right, so our salsa is a simple recipe of a combination of 47 different ingredients. So just bear with us as we list them all out and you guys will, it's just super easy. You already have everything in your kitchen. So we need Chinese five spice, five spice. We need Chinese five spice. We need kettle, kettle cooked, Lay's kettle cooked jalapeno chips. You need uh, star fruit and mango seeds. So go ahead and gather all those in your refrigerator and join back with us. Put them in your refrigerator. Cause you don't need any of those you things. Don't need <laughs> and I don't know why you have Chinese five spice or like star fruit, but. We actually have that for now. You do, yeah, she had a heart problem. So her coworker gave her some, uh, some star fruit. Anyway, so we're not using any of those things. We have a way that we do it. I will show you guys, cause we're just gonna montage through this deal here in a second. Roma tomatoes, about nine of them. We're gonna pit them though this time because we're gonna try and plant these suckers. So we'll see how that goes. We got onions. We use about three quarters of one onion, but I got two cause we're gonna cut the roots off and plant these things. Limes. I like to use about two, but that's just your own preference. I like I like lime. I even like the lime chips. They're super good. Jalapenos. Now I use about two or three of these, and we got we got like six because I'm gonna gut the other ones and take the seeds out of the other ones. The seeds are what brings the hotness, so I want it in the salsa. We like. You're hot. Cilantro. We got cilantro. Um, it looks better when it's out of the bag, but this is a make it or break it for salsa. If you ain't putting cilantro in your salsa, what are you even doing? And we're gonna use like the whole thing of this. Now my brother-in-law has that genetic thing where salsa tastes like soap to him. So I can understand if salsa tastes like soap to you guys, you probably don't wanna put it in there. But we are not genetically deficient. We like cilantro. We also do garlic, salt, and pepper. Now I don't have fresh garlic because I've already planted all the garlic in our other garden box. So we're just gonna do like, we're just gonna scoop in garlic from the jar, but yeah, it's still, still garlic. And you can't have enough of it, so put it in there. All right, let's get cutting. So that's our secret ingredient. You can see it all right here, how we stack it. We're gonna, we got this Vitamix right here. These things are the best. You might be a Ninja fan and that's cool if you are, but uh, I know, no, it's not. Vitamix is honestly just the way to go. And then we're just gonna pour it in and let it chill and then go build our garden box. So let's watch this thing. All right, and it looks pretty green right now, but once it sits and chills for a bit, it kind of turns red again. That green's just the cilantro. Green never hurt nobody. Green eggs and ham, you ever read that? Hi guys, I'm Savannah, and I'm gonna show you how to make cereal. First, you open the box. Oh, uh, what's in the box? And then, you just open this little plastic part. Now that that's open, pour your cereal in your bowl. Come on, I need more than that. Pour your cereal. I think that should be good. Next, get your milk. We use this red one. Now, pour your milk. And let all the milk 
soak into the tiny pores of the cereal. Put your milk away so that it doesn't get rotten. Here is the lunch of a very unhealthy 24 year old trying to make it throughout the day. Bye. All right, well, after that tutorial, now we have our um, salsa in the fridge. This is where we film our Sunday services. You can check them out, Change Point Kotzebue on YouTube. And now we just got to wait for Coco to finish eating her life. We're going to run get some soil, go run get some uh, gravel, and we're going to build this box. Okay, so first things first, since we're building a garden box, we need to have some wood. Now, the way we do it is we grab some pallets and we build the box out of a pallet. And I'll show you how, but first things, we need the, the base of our stuff. We got some woods here. They're not the best woods, but we ain't building the Taj Mahal. All right, so first things first, we need soil. Now here in Kotzebue, we don't really have soil that you can just like go dig up. It's not very, I don't know. We just, live on the tundra. Yeah, it's just not the same. So there's a store that we're gonna go to that has soil. All right, so we are across town at our little store. We're going inside, so masks on right now because we just had our first COVID case the other day. So we're all on threat level midnight, but we got to get soil somehow. Let's go get some. And now we need some pallets because we set our stuff up on pallets in Cotsview. That's how we do things. And I know there's one down here on the beach, so I'm gonna go grab it real quick. It's a little burnt, but I think it'll do good for being a base. So it's a little rickety. So we just dropped everything off at my parents' house where we're gonna be building this thing. However, we still need a tote of gravel to put at the bottom. It helps with drainage of the water, I guess. And we also need cilantro seeds. And I'm not sure where we're gonna find cilantro seeds here, but I'm thinking maybe our local grocery store might have some. So that's where we're going right now. AC, you best prepare yourself. Ow! All right, now we just gotta get some gravel. Now, last time I messed up and filled up the entire bucket of gravel, we don't need that much. Look at that strong man. What a hottie. Okay, so we got everything we need right here. We're gonna show you guys what we're doing. Coco's gonna show you. Here, hold on. All right, babe, give them the run through. Um, okay, so here's our other garden box and we have cabbage here. And then we have beets right here. They haven't sprouted through yet. And okay. Some radishes, they're growing pretty quick. Oh yeah, I don't even like radish, and but I'm happy they're growing. Here's the garlic. These are my pride and joy right here. These are my, this is my garlic. See that garlic growing? There's, there's one right there. Look at that thing. And then right here is supposed to be some green beans, but they haven't sprouted through yet. No green beans yet, but they're getting there. Mm -hmm. What are you most excited for? Probably the cabbage. Why cabbage? Because they're gonna grow really big. So I think that'll be fun to watch. I don't, I don't really like cabbage. I don't really either, but. Why do we grow it? They'll be big. They're gonna be like that big when they're fully grown. All right, let's show you guys what we got. This is a hammer. We got a drill, we got a saw, we got some weird short nails, we got a lot of these planks of wood, we got some screws, we got some wood. It's going to be the jankiest setup you've ever seen. I hope it doesn't get too windy. The first thing we got to do is put a base deal on this. Now really all we're going to do is hammer in some nails because it's going to be held down by gravel and dirt anyway. So we're not going to put a lot of effort into it. But we do have to cut these boards. If you're a carpenter, I'm not going to do a great job. I'm just going to make sure that they all can get on there kind of like a weird jigsaw thing. So let's see. All right. Three out of five, not bad. Do uh, one more. Yeah. All right, Coco's turn. She's gonna pound in some nails. Get it, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, so let's try. Get mad at it. You gotta get angry. You gotta get mean. You did it, baby. How, hey, how do you feel? I'm pretty accomplished right now, actually. Yeah, on a scale from one to 10, how accomplished? A solid nine. Are you like satisfied with your life at the moment? Totally. Hey, why don't you show us your uh, cool mask? This is what I do every single day. Isn't that? In the hospital. In the hospital. Can wow, you... model it, work it, oh yeah. We just need it to be there. We don't even really need 
to nail it down, but you might as well. All right, babe. So, how was the uh, how was my sawing technique there? Pretty solid, I'd say. Yeah, go from did, one to ten. Um, oh, five. You didn't hurt yourself. I did okay. Yeah. So now we're gonna put the sides on. Um, we're gonna use this long piece of wood and try and get as much out of it as we can. And then we got a couple other mismatched pieces to get the rest. I think all of our big cuts are done. Now it's just time to see if if they are compatible, compatible cuts. We'll make them compatible, just like me and Coco. Okay, so, so far what we did was we put up these janky little sides. As you can see, we have these blocks here because that's kind of how we're putting the sides up. And now Coco is hammering in this last one. Let's watch her go to town. Just go to town. Because, <laughs> because you, you nailed, nailed it. it. Yeah. Oh, hey, babe. But right here, though, we actually missed something. Okay, so you forgot to kiss me. Oh gosh. That's why we do it, folks. That's why we do it. Nice. Look at that. All right, Coco. So we're still working on this. How are you feeling about it? It's pretty ugly, not gonna lie. It's ugly. We still gotta put in the liner, we gotta put in the rocks, we gotta put in the soil, and most importantly, we have to the plant our seed. seed. Oh, we worded that way differently. Okay, so what we have here is some plastic, just plastic. We're gonna line our entire box with it. The reason why is apparently it helps protect the wood from water. Um, so that the whole thing doesn't just rot out from under us. Half of these boards are rotten anyway. We're but halfway there. We're gonna protect our garden plot from the, the effects of nature by putting plastic. The sacrifice we're willing to a, make. It's quite a conundrum, but it's a <laughs> risk I'm, I'm going to do. Because I have nothing else to use. <laughs> <laughs> we hammered our thing down, um, this tarp looking deal um actually we just had these like little tiny nails that were like this big we just tacked them all around we poked some holes at the bottom of the tarp so that water can get through and it doesn't just soak up and stay inside of there the whole time and now it's time to put on our gravel so i'm gonna shovel some gravel at the bottom of this okay we got some gravel at the bottom i don't think we quite got enough gravel uh, but that's okay because it's gonna do its job anyway. Now we got three different bags of soil. We didn't know exactly what kind of bag of soil to get, so we just kind of got one of each. And that's what we're gonna use in here. So let's show you guys after we, uh, we're gonna put the soil in and show you what's up after. Okay, so we have the soil in. Mixture of three different kinds. Three different kinds. Look how, look how rich and soily that is. We soiled it. Soiled it! Because. <laughs> Okay. So next we plant the seeds. What seeds we got? Um, cilantro, tomato, onion, and jalapeno. Nice, because this is our salsa box. We're gonna make we're gonna make salsa out of this box right here. Let's go get our seeds, baby. Lead the way. So these are we got our onions right there, my jalapenos. And as we said earlier, garlic is already planted. So that's that's off and growing right now. We can't do lime. I think it's too tropical. And we're in uh, North Alaska, Northwest Alaska. What you got there? Tomatoes. Okay, and where's the rest of our tomato seeds? Um, they fall on the floor in this nasty goop mess. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I'm gonna have fun cleaning that up. We, because we. we do things together. It's a we. It's a we. That's for you, Shugnack. What are those? These are Alaska wildflowers. What are you gonna do with them? Plant them. What? Yep. You wild girl. It's gonna grow them. You wild. It's specially, Vegetables and flowers. Specially formulated for Alaska. We're in Alaska. Point on this Alaska thing where we're at. We're right there. Oh, we're way up there. We're at the T. We're at the T. Tip tea. of the T, the T Phillips. Wow. Okay, let's go. Because we scraped up that. Those are nasty looking, but they should still be good. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, babe. Walk us through how to plant a tomato. Well, I don't really know how, so I'm just gonna do it. Okay, that's a good idea. 
Yeah, make a good old line in the dirt. A clear line in the sand. Yeah. Wow. What? <laughs> that is truly gross. So now we're gonna do the jalapenos. I'm doing the same thing. Gonna draw a clear line in the soil right next to the jalapeno, or right next to the tomatoes. I feel like mine are a little deeper than hers, but that's okay with me. I'm patient. I just want them to, I want them to take root. Is this the way to plant jalapeno seeds? No. I don't know. Maybe, we'll see. And now we got our hungians. Now, we cut these off the bottom. These are roots right here at the top. So what we're gonna do is dig a hole like this, and we're gonna put it down. Is that d too deep? I think that's too deep. No, that's not too deep. Are you sure? Oh, That's I pretty think... down in there. We'll do this one not as deep. That's just as deep. Oh, there we go. I mean, it has to have room to grow the other on top. So that's good. And you just leave them uncovered like that? No, I'm gonna cover them. Okay, let's... What do we got next? Cilantro. Cilantro. And I'm just gonna go like this. Wow, different technique this time around. Yeah. So tell me, why did you decide to go with the poke? Because these grow like really bushy, you know? I guess, I've so, never seen um, a cilantro plant. You have never ever seen cilantro? No, no, I mean, I've eaten it. Okay, well they come in stocks and they grow pretty tall. So um, so I think this will be the best route for okay. these ones. Okay. If I'm wrong, <laughs> We have a store. This is by people. far the most reckless how-to, probably on YouTube. Ever. If, 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 it, it, works, if it, it works, it works. Yeah, if that's all we grow, care about. It's gonna grow. We have to use what we got here. All right. And Eskimos really aren't farmers. We're just, we're gatherers because we live on the tundra. So really not much can grow besides what's wild and already gonna grow by its own. Okay, prediction time, babe. So we got a couple different plants growing. What do you think is going to grow first? What do you think is the first one we're gonna see? Cilantro. Cilantro? For sure. Why? Because they're really thin. Mm. You know what I think it we're gonna see have to first? Grow a whole plant. What? The cilantro. I'm yeah. with you. I think mm -hmm. it's cilantro. What do you think we're gonna see last? Onion. Why onion? Because it's so big. I don't know. I feel like onions grow fast. They're like potatoes. If you leave them in the cabin, store the, the thing for too long in your cupboards, they just grow. You don't even have to do anything. And that's without dirt. So imagine it having dirt. So we'll probably see the cilantro. Then we'll probably see the tomatoes. tomatoes then the jalapenos mm -hmm. and then the onions. I don't necessarily agree with that order, but we'll, we'll see. We'll keep you guys in check or in line. Updated. We'll keep you guys updated. So this looks like a normal tote, but me and my dad did something awesome. You see these holes on this side? Yeah, check this out. Wow, magic. Yep, perfect watering. This um, gardening video really shows you how Alaskans do it. It is way different and just so sloppy, but great outcomes. Having things is so overrated. So overrated. A lot of people will look at this and say, what the heck is that? And that's exactly what I'm kind of saying right now. But the deal is at the end of the summer, if we take care of this and we do the right things for it, we're gonna get salsa. Yeah. It doesn't have to look perfect to get what you need. And remember that for relationships, remember that for your time with God, because a lot of the times life is messy, life is weird, but if you spend time cultivating things that matter, it doesn't matter how messy or weird it looks because fruit can come out of it. But we're growing vegetables, so, except for tomatoes. No fruit, <laughs> but we're getting something out of it. Remember that. Good, good tip, baby, wow. Dude, you even use cultivating? Oh, I'm so proud. You know, it just comes to me. You're so cute. It just comes to me. Okay. Bye, babies. Bye. We'll see you when you grow in nine months. <laughs>